Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are finally doing the video for the uh, Saturn and Jupiter conjunction in Aquarius and how this is going to affect you. Now for a lot of you guys, um, there's been a bit of confusion, perhaps not full understanding of what this major transformation energy is taking place on December the 21st, 2020, going into 2021. Now, so, uh, Saturn and Jupiter, I was going to say soup for some reason, <laughs> Saturn and Jupiter conjunctions um, usually happen every 20 to 30 years. That's how long it takes for them to go into every single sign. Uh, Jupiter and Saturn are the biggest planets aside from uh, the sun, of course. Uh, but the major change here is, yes, Jupiter in conjunction uh Jupiter conjuncting uh, Saturn, major transformative energy, but the massive change here is that we're going into a different element. Now, when we go into a different element, it takes roughly about 200 years. So in the past, we've uh, had the Jupiter conjunction in water elements. That's when the Renaissance, the major expansion and explosion of creative outlook, painting, poetry, uh, traveling through through water but with boats uh, that's the element of water then we forward to the fire element when we had uh, Jupiter conjunctioning uh, Saturn in the elements of fire that's when we were experiencing wars when we were experiencing colonization it's basically taking power through form of aggression uh, then Moving forward from the 1800s up until now, we've been in nothing but earth elements with these conjunctions. Uh, so we had this major upheaval and expansion of machineries, of building, of uh, businesses, of, you know, creating and getting and, and finding earth's resources. And finally, now we are getting or preparing ourselves to go into the element of air. Uh, which is Aquarian energy, and the Aquarian era begins, right? So from now, from December the 21st, moving forward, we're going to be in the family of air for about 200 years. So your children or even the children of your children may not even be able to experience uh, this conjunction going into a different element up until moving forward 200 years from now. So this is why it's very massive. This is why there is great... Uh, change a shift in energy as well Aquarius is all about the future futuristic type of energy thinking of head moving forward it's about humanity and collectiveness coming together and fighting for um, fighting for the for life basically uh, so this is people becoming more connected to your humanity side more compassion coming in after the chaos we've been experiencing um, this is an awakening type of energy. So how is this going to affect you directly, Cancer? Well, you may already be experiencing disharmonies in your career and in your finances. For some of you guys, uh, because you have Mars in the 10th house and it is in Pisces, uh, this is experiencing conflict around partners um, in regards to partnerships, in regards to business uh, or the business plays with colleagues. Um, this could be having uh, misunderstandings, disagreements type of energy, feeling like there is a bit of restriction there uh, or even some type of judgment. Um, but I feel that for a lot of you guys, if, if you're mindful about those energies, um, you can be able to like pretty much ease into that type of energy and be able to come out on the other side with not much conflict there. Now, if you try to deal with the situation head on, what may actually happen is that, again, you experience these conflicts and these conflicts start to impact not only you, but those around you. So this could be cutting ties or links with friends, people, colleagues, uh, people around you, people that you choose to deal with on an everyday basis, um, them starting to pull away or being drawn away from you because of these conflicts. So again, you are, you know, you're being told right now, so perhaps being a little bit more mindful uh, is going to really help you ease through this type of energy. Um, now, Jupiter and Saturn conjunctioning in your eighth house. 
Eighth house has a lot to do uh, with secrets. Now, your ninth house is also being activated. So this is directly in connection with finances, but in a beneficial way. For a lot of you guys changing your reality and how you view certain things or philosophy even uh, beliefs may be challenged. Uh, this could be almost like this could be almost like a feeling of having to deal with other people's opinions about certain things. Again, if we approach the situation head on and be stubborn about it, uh, links are going to be broken. Now, if you approach it from a loving place, a non-judgmental way, um, then you're able to ease through that type of energy. And the perfect example comes to mind. Um, so I had a client uh, recently, this is recently, like a, a week or so ago. Um, I had a client that we've been, you know, dealing with each other for quite a while now, a few years, and I considered this person my friend. Um, I had very, you know, high regard for her and I highly respected her and everything that she did. I tried to support her 100 percent. And, uh, you know, there was this situation where she posted something on her social media that was in very connection to what her belief system is. Um, knowing and being aware of what my belief is and what my practice is and the the post had something to do with like um, basically stating you are not this if you do this type of thing. I'm not really going to go deep into it, but at first it kind of, I was like, what the fuck? Like it came out of nowhere, right? So I allowed, like I tried to process it. I allowed it to like kind of simmer in my mind for a bit. Um, I am extremely blunt. If you guys have been following me or if you deal with me or if you're one of my clients, you already know that i very blunt. But when it comes to situations that are very touchy, especially when we're talking about friends, when we're talking about people that you choose to be around with uh, or deal with and you have such high respect for them, um, I try to take a step back and really analyze or see where that person is coming from. Now, I kind of addressed it and I made a comment underneath that post. And her response to that was, um, you know, oh, I didn't mean it. I'm sorry uh, if you took it the wrong way, but I meant it in a loving way. But the message behind it, it it's still a judgmental way. So as an example, uh, you know, I don't really want to. I don't know how to explain this for you guys to understand. So I guess the best way of describing it is, for example, me to say to those of you guys that are vegan, right, um, to make a comment about what my belief is and you are not anything to do with spirituality or spiritual if you're vegan. Uh, it was kind of like that, except it was on the other way around, right? If you harm animals or if you harm uh, you know, anything that is like, if you're basically not, or I should say, if you're basically not a vegan, then you're not spiritual. And again, we go back to that of like, she's fully aware of my practice and what I do. So I made a comment, something about, you know, uh, I respect, you know, what you do or whatnot, but to be able to make that type of assumption is not only, kind of rhetorical but it takes you back to like back in the days we would sacrifice animals just to make it rain so for you to, and people back then were much more connected to the spirit than us right on everyday on everyday type of mundane things so i just took offense to it because i was like you know how dare you anyways long story short into this my point is that was a situation that i feel is very connected here because uh the cancer energy could be like extremely emotional but at the same time sometimes you become so inclusive to your emotions that you kind of forget other people's opinions count too or other people's uh, perspectives uh, come to validation and you saying oh I meant it in a loving way doesn't remove the fact that you made that statement you know what I mean it's like me saying uh, if you're vegan 
you know, uh, I don't know, something degrading, like, just because I'm not attuned to what your system, your belief is, or your practice or your lifestyle, it doesn't mean that I have a right to judge or, or to make myself feel better by judging you. And I feel that that's how it came off. And you saying at the bottom with love doesn't make it any better. Like it completely infuriated me. Um, so I just cut the links to that. Like I'm not, if I feel at this point, if I feel that you're not, even if you say with love, you know, I can say with love too. It doesn't mean I'm coming from a loving place. It's your actions behind those words that have more to do with, with what you're trying to uh, put out. So anyways, long story short, don't, go, don't get into it with people if you feel like now, if it's something that it's them attacking you, then that's a different that's that's a different thing. And I would still not even er entertain that type of energy. Just walk away from it. Don't allow people to get you out of character or to bring out the worst in you, Cancer. All right. So that was an example of what can happen to you guys. <laughs> All right. So anyways, uh, like I was saying, a lot of growth here um, and no longer, this is you realizing cancer 2021 is going to be about you realizing what limiting beliefs you're still holding on to and finally being able to release yourself from that. Uh, this could be links from childhood. This could be belief, uh, belief systems that haven't helped you much in your growth and your expansion. And this is you really shedding that letting that out and being able to come into your own and come into your own person, almost like being empowered and really knowing or believing that you have a purpose and what your purpose is here on earth. I see a lot of that transitioning uh, happening throughout the year for you guys. So very, very positive uh, career changes as well. Your interests may change. You may be studying law for, I don't know, the past 10, 15 years, and all of, so, all of a sudden, uh, you start getting into crafting, or you start getting into candle making, or you start getting into something that is very different from what you've been doing the past 20 years. So there is a career change there. Slowly but surely, you start to get that business off the ground or following your passions, and you start to see manifestations of that. So very positive energy, Cancer. All right, my lovely. So let's get into your predictions for 2021. Let's see what spirit has for you guys. Uh, spirits, if you can please give me 12 sets of cards representing each single month. What is coming to Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising? What is unfolding before them for 2021? What new opportunities or challenges may arise throughout the months of 2021? If you guys enjoyed these readings, definitely comment below, like, and share this video. Let me know that you guys are all for it so that we can make a habit of doing these end of or end of the year readings uh, and predictions to see what's to come for the next year. All right. Oof, we got cards flying out, Cancer. All right. So I'm going to be setting them here. That's January. Give me one second. January... February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. <clears throat> All right. So for January, Cancers, you guys have the Three of Pentacles and the King of Wands. <clears throat> you may be getting an opportunity in regards to finances or in regards to business. For some of you guys, this is a new endeavor. Uh, you may be dealing with fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, um, Aries type of energy. Uh, this can be a partnership or talking about some type of collaboration in the month of January that is going to be very beneficial, not only for you, but for the person involved as well. Now, for the month of February, we have here the Queen of Cups and the Strength card. This is you becoming more empowered with your energy, Cancer. This is you speaking your truth. Uh, this is really standing in 
what you believe this is uh, overcoming certain obstacles or blockages that are also going to be removed in the month of February and being able to uh, branch out for some of you guys this is uh, like I said I feel that for a lot of you guys it's a lot of starting new businesses or trying to branch out from what you usually do in regards to your finances Queen of Cups can also represent your energy with the strength card being confident in yourself no longer questioning or no longer being so much in your head cancer uh, I feel that February is going to be a month of empowerment for you guys now, for the month of March, we have the King here of Cups with the Hanged Man. So we have back-to-back -back Queen of Cups and King of Cups, soul type of connection. For some of you guys, it could be a connection that starts off in the month of February that is very strong. Going into March, you start to see some type of mm, resistance or some type of like slowing the pace in regards to this connection. Uh, what they're telling you here is going to be very important to detach yourself from the situation so you don't become too obsessed over this situation or this connection. This could be as well that in February you're dealing with someone uh, that you feel a very deep connection with and then March they kind of start to pull away and you're like tossing and turning or thinking over analyzing what could have gone wrong. What they're telling you here is let that go. People are going to be coming into your life and going out of your life for this year 2021, but they're serving some type of higher purpose for you or some type of lesson that they're bringing. Um, don't hold on to things or don't, don't try to force things that are not unfolding or that may take a bit to unfold. Now for the month of April, you have here the Hermit with the Five of Swords. Okay, so what they're telling me is for some of you guys, this could be the situation in regards to colleagues where they're saying that there's going to be some type of conflict or some type of situation that arises where egos are going to be involved. Uh, the hermit is a representation of a person that is very, um, very spiritual or perhaps has a lot of wisdom. For some of you guys, this is getting advice from a person that is coming from a genuine, authentic place and you not really... Perhaps it's like hard, cold truth. You're not really wanting to hear it or you're not wanting to accept certain things. What they're telling you here is learn to put your ego to the side, Cancer, especially if you're vibrating more to the shadow side of a Cancer, uh, manipulative, manipulative type of tactics. That must come to an end. Remember, we have Saturn and Jupiter. Uh, Saturn, Jupiter is all about expansion and growth and blessings. Things coming your way, right? Uh, with Saturn, not so easy. Saturn is the karma planet, so certain things may come about that perhaps you've done or said in the past in regards to this uh, colleague, in connection to this friend, or in connection to uh, this person that you're going to be in conflict with, uh, where they're going to see a, a certain trait about you. This could be vice versa, you guys. It is a general reading, so keep that in mind. This could be you being put in a position where you catch someone uh, saying certain things about you that you were definitely not expecting and you don't really know how to deal with it, um, address it, okay? That's the best thing I can say. Address that situation so that you don't allow enough time to pass by where you guys are stuck on the ego and there's resentments there. Now, for the month of, what is this? Uh, April, May. For the month of May, you have the Three of Cups and the Seven of Cups. I feel that this is celebratory type of energy. For some of you guys, this is a uh, love in coming in for you guys and having options. Uh, what they're telling you here is when you find yourself, especially this is May. So for the month of May, if you feel like you're having more than two people that really want or are fighting to try to get your attention, give your time and your effort to the people that you feel there is a deeper connection there. Because I feel that if you scatter your energy or if you give or try to give time to everyone, you may actually miss out on someone that is trying to build something strong and something solid. But because they're on this mission of creating or finding their stability, they're not going to waste time. So if they feel that you're distracted or that you're not putting energy or that your energy is going towards other people, they have no problem walking away from that. And you may miss out on something that is going to be long term for you. 
Now, for others of you, it could not be love. For some of you guys, this could just represent opportunities in finances, uh, in career. Career moves is what they're telling me. So again, uh, give the opportunity or jump into something wholeheartedly that you're passionate about, uh, even if it's not that enticing in the beginning, but you feel like that's something you're more drawn to because it will eventually bring to you more stability. Now, for the month of June... We have here the lovers and the wheel of fortune. For some of you guys finding a deep bond, a deep connection, this could be a long-term connection. Uh, for some of you guys, this is finding your soulmate, finding the person that is meant to be in your life. This is uh, coming, the coming of two souls together to connect on a life's purpose. Uh, for some of you guys, you may be dealing with the Gemini type of energy. Um, I feel a lot of air, so some Aquarian, Libra, Gemini type of energy. For others of you, this is just getting to the point where you feel like you're at crossroads and your path or your life is taking you on a different route, on a different path. Don't question it, Cancer. I feel that this is highly needed for you. And this is opportunity uh, to really set a new cycle in your life. For a lot of you guys, cutting ties from karmic connections and being able to embrace a new beginning that is going to be much more fulfilling for you. <clears throat> now, for the month of July here, we have the Knight of Wands and Page of Cups. This is a very entrepreneur type of energy. Uh, this is talking about uh, going towards a new journey or a new mission for some of you guys dealing with a new project. For others of you, this is really starting some type of uh, creative uh, endeavor. This could be like if you're an author, if you're a writer, a director, anything that has to do with the creative outlook. I feel that there's going to be massive energy here, flow of creativity coming through you. And really what they're telling you here for this month of July, don't procrastinate, take action in this month, especially in this month. Uh, to be able to really see major transformations, to really see progress in your life. It's going to be very important to not procrastinate is what they're saying. Now for the month of August, um, for the month of August, we have the Knight of Swords and the Seven of Wands. So in this month of August, there's going to be a need for you to be more clear in drawing the line. This is you standing your ground. This is you not allowing to not allowing for people to see you as a pushover. It's going to be very important for you to really stand behind your beliefs or stand behind something that you're very passionate about um, that someone or something may be questioning or put you in a situation where you feel uh, like you're being I don't want to say attacked, but this has more to do with feeling like they're challenging that belief. Um, this can also be dealing with uh, a person in your surroundings. This could be social circle, uh, not necessarily friends, but more of a social circle type of ambiance is what I'm seeing. And what they're saying is that uh, there's definitely someone that is really looking at what you're doing. Be careful in this month of August not to overshare plans when we're talking about business, when we're talking about ideas for businesses or ideas for a new project. Be careful not to overshare because I feel that you guys may be, especially those of you guys in the creative field, uh, people may be taking advantage or may run with your idea and actually make it some type of uh, career, some type of business or some kind of project that is going to give them um, the opportunity to really, what's the word I'm looking for, um, the opportunity to really... Uh, make bank off of that basically so be careful with that in this month of august now for the month of september we have the three of swords here and the high priestess yeah i feel that in the month what was this uh june july in the month of july and august in the month of july and august i feel that there is a situation that's coming about where you need to be mindful about what you express to other people. There may be a plan or some type of a great idea that you get, Cancer. There may be a person around you that could be sneaky and may want to have the upper hand in this or claim that idea as their own. 
and there is a feeling of like almost like resentment and being let down or being betrayed here with the three of swords and the high priestess you could have prevented this with the high priestess so listen to your intuition um cancer for the month of august and september i feel that it's going to be very important to listen to that intuition um not only that but learn to be more mysterious or learn to be like learn to keep certain things to yourself when we're talking about career, when we're talking about creative outlook, when we're talking about ideas that may bring to you financial growth and financial stability, be careful with that because I see a person around you that may want to snatch that idea and claim it as their own. And then there's this feeling of betrayal or this feeling of being let down because you trusted that person. So just be careful with that. Now, it's not going to connect with everyone. For others of you, it could just represent uh, something coming to light where there is some type of betrayal that's happening here. Um, I don't feel that it is connected to love. I feel that it has more to do with people you trusted or people that are around you. Now, finally, for the month of October, we have the Emperor and the Four of Pentacles here. So this is manifestation. This is stability. Uh, this is having a structure. This is being able to uh capitalize on some type of project that is going to bring you a lot of monetary compensation for others of you especially if you're dealing with some type of legality or some type of lawsuit money comes in for you guys in october now for others of you this is a the emperor's the entrepreneur card for me right so with the four of pentacles this is uh really being able to attain or really being able to manifest financial stability in this month my advice is be cautious and don't be overspending don't spend on things that are unnecessary save this opportunity or save this wave of money as for a rainy day be more methodical when it comes to your finances cancer now for the month of november here we have the king of pentacles and the five of cups so this is talking about dealing with an earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Uh, with the five of cups, there is almost this uh, feeling of contemplation. The five of cups talks to me about a loss, but I feel that this is a person from your past. This could be a person that reaches out to you, uh, and this was a toxic type of energy. This was a person that uh, perhaps was very manipulative to you. For others of you, this could have been dealing with an earth energy uh, that really scarred you in the past. Um, there is some type of uh, karmic connection here. And I feel that around this month, uh, there is a lot of nostalgia happening or they're reaching out to you and you're looking to the past. Not in a negative way. I don't feel it as in a sadness. I feel more like, like really coming to terms and understanding like, this person is coming to the realization that they really missed out on an amazing person, Cancer. And I feel that you're on the other side saying, I want nothing to do with you anymore. Like, I'm done. It's been done. It's been dead and buried. So uh, don't entertain anyone from your past. Finally, going into December, a lot of you guys, there is manifestations happening in December 2021. For some of you guys, this is financial bliss. Uh, feeling like you're extremely blessed and you're able to overshare. For others of you, this is a manifestation of pregnancy for some, especially those of you guys that have been trying to get pregnant. Um, it could also be finding out that you're having a boy. Uh, if you don't want to know, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> with the Ace of Wands, this is passionate and masculine energy. Nine of Cups is emotional fulfillment as well as wishes coming true. So very beautiful energy. I feel that you guys are going to be challenged uh, very heavily on the trust that you place on people. Um, but other than that, I see a lot of massive expansion in regards to your business and your finances, Cancer. I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. If you did, please let me know. Sound off in the comments below. Let me know uh, if you guys want me to integrate this every single year at the end of the year to see what's to come for the new year. I want to wish every single one of you guys nothing but love and light. I hope that you spend amazing holidays around your family or those that matter most. Happy holidays, and I wish you guys the best. We'll see each other soon. Bye.